Hey, it's Lenny McGill with the Glock Store Performance and Custom Shop here in San Diego, California. We're inside one of our tactical shooting rooms, and today we're going to talk about gun fit exercise number eight. Now, this exercise is designed to help you develop, maintain, and improve close quarter shooting skills. Concept being is that we're not shooting down a lane, okay? Shooting down a lane is boring in my mind, but also can promote bad habits. We are going to shoot at multiple targets in multiple directions, just like in real life, if there were real life bad guys. And we want to train that way because we want to be prepared for that. We also want to train ourselves not to just be shooting in a standard isosceles position. We want to be able to shoot in multiple uh, directions with multiple positions based upon the targets or the uh, threat that is exposed to us. So today's exercise number eight features three different targets with our gun fit scoring zones. The big uh, triangle is five, anything on the paper is three, anything outside is a zero, just like that. So it's five, three, or zero. The headshot, same thing. You'll notice this is the scoring zone right here. Five, three, off the paper is zero. So what we want to do is keep all of our shots in the five zone if possible, certainly on the paper. Uh, that is a um, pretty good combat shooting target. Okay, you can see the size is, is basically what you want to do. So this is uh, pretty large. The distances are close. The idea is that you can shoot really, really fast. But that's how you have to do it. That's how typically it happens in a real life scenario. Marble shots, really fast, at relatively close distances. As we know, most gunfights, most shootings, occur within a seven foot distance. And about 80% of those are within five feet. So we uh, certainly want to train that way because we don't want to just be shooting down a lane at you know, 20 feet or 20 yards or something like that and think that that's combat practice. It's good practice for accuracy, but it's not necessarily combat practice and or tactical or self-defense practice. And that's what this is all about. You'll notice that we have three targets. First one is here at six feet, relatively close. Second one right off to the right is about, not 90 degrees, it's about 95, just a little bit behind me. And that is also six feet. This third target right here is close, about four feet, about 100, 100 degrees behind me. So it's not right at 90, it's just 10 degrees back. Like the idea being is that if there was a threat, something that was going to, you know, happen, there's three bad guys, you know, I've got to come up with a way to engage those bad guys in a manner in which will give me the accuracy I need, the speed I need to neutralize those threats before they have the ability to, one, respond or neutralize me. Now, let's talk about that for a second. Uh, the human brain... It's really amazing. There's been a lot of studies as to reaction times. And it's been determined that the average person, the reaction time in their brain is about 0.25 seconds. Now, what that means is, is if I'm sitting there and, um, and I, I'm going to get hit in the face and, I, and I'm watching the person about to hit me, it's going to take my brain and my eye to see that stimulus come into my brain and then make myself move, it's gonna take about 0.25 seconds before I even start to move. That's the reaction time. How, okay, so I see the threat, oops, my brain tells me, oh, it's gotta get out of the way, boom, and I start to move, and I've gotta either block, move out of the way, do something to avoid getting hit in the face. Uh, it takes about 0.25 seconds, and that's pretty interesting. And uh, the, the goal here is that if you can engage these targets fast, and get through all three of them, you can typically do all three of these targets with one shot in about two seconds. And that means that you go one, two, three, by the time that third shot is being fired, it's about at two seconds. So you've gotta be in a hurry if you're gonna be able to get to this guy before he can actually get to you. So that's one of the main things we're trying to accomplish here is, is to develop our, our speeds, uh, develop our accuracy, and uh, develop uh, unusual shooting positions. It's not just down the lane. So for this particular exercise, I'm going to practice real quick with you just to show you my trainer and some of the practice that I do. This is my Glock 19 trainer gun. You can see it's got a little red tip on it. It actually has our reset trigger. Now, I developed the reset trigger about 10 years ago. Uh, it allows me to dry fire my Glock without having to rack the slot. Even more importantly, uh, we've teamed it up with the uh, laser ammo, laser bullet that uh, allows me to pull the trigger 
and spit out a laser pulse. Now you may see that as a green pulse on video, but it's red and it comes out every time I squeeze the trigger. The beauty of this is, is that I can dry fire practice repeatedly and have results. So the goal here uh, is that with this drop in reset trigger that you drop into your gun and you can take back out very simply, very easily. There's a video online show you how to do it. Uh, is I can get a lot of trigger time at home and go through certain scenarios that will apply themselves to the range when I go out for a live fire. So the, uh, the reset trigger is a tremendous training tool and allows me to go through uh, scenarios and also have a confirmation that my drills are working. So at this distance, you know, these distances, should I say, uh, I don't really have to look at the sights. I am seeing the sight as it comes up into my sight picture, but I'm not focusing on aligning the sights because, again, at this distance, and the training that I've already done, all the practice I've done, I know that when I'm looking at the target and I bring the gun up into my line of sight, I have trained enough that I know that my hand is in the right position, my grip is in the right position, that when I bring the gun up, my sights are pre-aligned and they will intersect with my line of sight. So I really want you to think about that for a second. When I present the gun, the sights are already pre-aligned. Once I see the target that I'm going to hit, the exact spot on the target, I bring the sights up into that line of sight. And through practice and repetition, every time I present a gun, the front sight is nestled into the rear sight exactly where I want it to be. It's pre-aligned. So now I know that once the gun comes up, I can squeeze the trigger as fast as I can because the sights are already on target. I've got my line of sight fixated, I bring the gun up into my line of sight, and I can squeeze the trigger. And again, keep in mind, these are very close targets. So you don't have to sit there and dial in and really look at the front sight and then squeeze the trigger, get up there and shoot it, and do multiples. Because that's what happens in real life. Not just one shot, two, three, four, five shots. So this drill, we're gonna do a series of one shot, then two shots, then three shots. We'll do them on the body, and then we'll do them on the head. So what I'd like to do right now is demonstrate a, a little of the drills with the, um, the uh, reset trigger and the uh, laser bullet inside of it so that I can uh, you know, kind of get warmed up and show you how I do practice. Because I do a lot of dry fire practice with my reset trigger and the um, uh, laser bullet because it really works. Uh, one of the stories I like to tell, and it's really interesting, I used to do uh, video programs for uh, the USPSA National Tournaments and the Steel Challenge and the Masters and we'd go and travel to hotels and we'd stay out in Barrie, Illinois and all over the, uh, the country and we would actually um, videotape those matches and um, at nighttime as you would walk back to your hotel room we walk past all the rooms and all the competition shooters were in there and you would literally hear almost every room the shooters dry firing click and at that time, they were all using 1911s, and so they didn't have a reset trigger, so they would have to cock the hammer and put it in a holster, and they'd be click. And what they're doing is practicing not only the physical drill of bringing the gun out of the holster and presenting it downrange, but more importantly, they're practicing the mental skill of being able to bring the gun up and see the front sight and have the sights pre-aligned. That's really the most important thing they're practicing. After a while, the physical thing's easy. It's really now about how fast can you see that front sight on the target you're looking to hit? How fast can you present that, target, that, that gun out to the target and actually know that the sights are pre-aligned and when you come up, bang, and you actually can then double check it and there it is, front sight inside the rear notch. So uh, that's just a, you know, an interesting little comp, uh, uh, story because it shows you how the competition shooters approach their practice. 80% of it is dry fire. And you should do the same thing for your practice, whether it's self-defense or competition. 80% is handling and dry firing, seeing the front sight, squeezing the trigger. And it really is accentuated and improved with the reset trigger and the uh, laser ammo. So what I want to do now is just go through the drill real quick. I'm going to use my timer. Now, most of you are familiar with the timers. The shot timers, they actually will count the shots based upon the sound. 
uh, they have a start and stop, and they also have a very unique feature which is called a part time. Part time allows you to set a, a start and then an end, so you can say, well, you know what, I want to see how many shots I can do in two seconds, or I want to see if I can do my draw within a second. So I'm going to go ahead and set this at two seconds right now to go through the drill. Uh, it'll actually start at a random start I've got it set on. So when I push the button to make it go, randomly the first beep will go. Go. Now two seconds later, there's the two second timer. That's the part time. So what we're going to do is just tack that right here. Come down here. Remember we start um, gun fit with the gun on the post at about 42 inches. Reason being, in a self-defense world, home defense world, that's more than likely where you're going to start. Uh, if you want to play this as competition, you can certainly start with a competition holster. If you want to play it as self-defense or concealed carry, you can certainly start with concealed carry. But the basic gun fit concept is that gun is, a gun is in hand. So we start with gun in hand and always at the 42 level, which uh, 42 inch uh, level, which is you know a, a starting point for everybody. So no one's really got an advantage. Because, you know, if, if you start to let people do everything, they start to walk themselves up here and, and all of a sudden it's like, okay, well, that's not fair. So we want everybody to start in the same spot, so we start right here. Now, so my objective is to come up and do one shot here, boom, one shot here, boom, and come back here, boom. And then we'll reverse the angle and we'll come up and we'll go one shot here, boom, one shot here, boom, one shot here, boom. And we'll see if we can do it all in two seconds. Right? Here we go. And made that by a mile, so let me try it one more time, coming the other way. Got it again, okay. So, I'll speed it up a little bit and let's see if we can do uh, two shots per. Here we go. Just got it. Ah, just got it again, okay. So, the idea is you want to go fast. And you're noticing, I'm sure, that, wow, that's not really traditional shooting positions. You're right, okay? Uh, the idea is that I don't want to always practice with the gun straight out. I may have to do a one-handed shot. I may have to do a shot that's close up like so, because that's what happens in self-defense. You don't always have a chance to assume the right position, get a nice oscillate stance, see the front sight, and go you're gonna to have to develop the skill to be able to point the gun in various ways and know that once you have it pointed out there, you can see the front sight, but it may not be a perfect sight picture because again, these are large targets. So it doesn't have to be perfect, we just have to get inside that five there. So uh, that's basically the drill that we're gonna do. Uh, I encourage you to dry fire before you go anywhere. And of course, if you're gonna shoot this drill, make sure you've got the ability to shoot in multiple directions like we can here in our 360 degree rooms. Obviously, most ranges are not set up like this, even outdoors, because you're shooting in multiple directions. So be very aware, be very safe. Never shoot in a situation where you are going to be uh, jeopardizing others beyond your target. Always know what's beyond your target. I know that the encapsulators we have here, nothing's coming out here, but if I have a random shot, nothing's going through those walls either. So let's go ahead and gear up. We'll get Victor in here, we'll run through this stage with some live fire, and uh, we'll get a score and see how we do. All right, we're ready now to set up our live fire drill. And uh, you'll notice uh, that we got the same array that we just did. The drills that we do is gonna do one shot on each target, kind of going right to left, and then one shot on each target going left to right. And then we'll do two shots, and then we'll do three, and uh, that'll be our body shots. And then we go from there, to our headshots. So it'll be a total of uh, 72 shots. Is that right? That's right, 72. All right, here we go. So uh, let's have some fun. Victor is gonna be running my timer with me. Um, the uh, drill is gonna be fun. So let me get my eyes and ears on here and get myself going here. I think I'm ready. All right. Okay. Vic, I'm ready for you, and uh, you know I'm coming up here, I'm going here, and then I'm coming here. Yes, sir. All right, here we go. All right. Shooter, are you ready? Stand by. 1.76. All right, got that under two seconds. That's what I like. Now we're going to go left, all right? All right, Shooter, are you ready? Stand by. 1.76. 
1.79. Okay. Yeah. All right. Next string. Shooter, are you ready? Two shots here. Stand by. 2.43. All right. Now left to right, right? Shooter, are you ready? Stand by. 2.36. Prepare for your next string. Okay, three shots per target. All right, shoot, are you ready? Stand by. 3.22. All right, shoot, are you ready? Stand by. 3.22. A little Three, different way. One. All right, unload, show clear. All right, that's our bodies. Slide forward and range clear. Three point two one. All right, not bad. Not bad. I uh, would say that uh, you know just try something different on that last one. Seems a little bit more awkward, uh, but the time was basically the same. So you know, looking pretty good. Let's go ahead now and shoot our headshots, and we'll be done with this exercise. All right, here we go. Now we're gonna shoot our uh, our next string here, which is basically headshots. Same concept, same course of fire. You know, it's, uh, it, again, I, I liken this uh, gun fit concept to, you know, working out the range. We're doing sets. Uh, you know, we do uh, uh, five sets of bench press, and we do five more, and then we do five more. Well, we're doing kind of that same thing. We're, we're trying to train our bodies to shoot in multiple directions and shoot fast and uh, be able to uh, keep our accuracy within those combat shooting zones. And again, now headshots. Not a small target in reality, but certainly have to take a little bit more time to see the front sight. So let's go ahead and gear up here. Victor's going to be running my timer again. Uh, eyes and ears for everybody. Here we go. Same concept. Okay. All right. And one, one, one. All right. Shooter ready. Stand by. Four, zero. A little slower there, but by design. All right, shooter, are you ready? Stand by. Two, four, three, nine. All right. Probably be a little faster if I want one hand, but I'm just trying some different things. All right, shooter, ready? Stand by. Two, four, eight, one. That's a good time. Yeah. All right, shooter, are you ready? Stand by. Oh, shit. Ah. 3.52. Time's still not that bad, though. Yeah, just a little brain fart there. Now we got... Uh... Now we're doing the threes. All right, next stream. Shooter, are you ready? Stand by. 3.21. Shooter, are you ready? Stand by. Okay. And there we go. Not bad. I think I got uh, all fives there, all fives there, and uh, one three. So not bad. You know, the concept being, again, it's close, but it's designed to be close. It's designed to uh, take you uh, in a different style of shooting, out of your comfort zone, out of here. You want to shoot in multiple directions, be able to shoot in... Uh, uh, with multiple stances so that you can actually engage targets fast and accurately. So, thanks for watching. Uh, let's go outside and uh, get this thing scored up and see how we did. All right, well, now we're going to go ahead and score our targets. And this is uh, always the fun side. You know, you always think to yourself, gee, I could have been a little faster. You know, didn't really drop a whole lot of points uh, on target number one, which is um, uh, to the left of me. Uh, you'll see I've got 60 on the bodies, 58 on the head. Not bad, I just had one drop out there. Uh, the target right in front of me, I had uh, all 12s, uh, or should, should I say uh, 12 shots in uh, each of these um, uh, five zones, so you know, 60s on each of those. Uh, and then the target to the right, I had uh, headshots were all good. Uh, did drop two out here on the body, but that's what happens with a one hand sometimes. But still very effective self-defense shots. You know, bottom line is, uh, you know, we're looking for speed, we're looking for accuracy, and, and that's a pretty good combination. Uh, Timing-wise, you know, I had a couple, you know, finger freezes there, and, you know, that happens, you know, but hey, you work through it, you just keep on shooting. You know, uh, sometimes, you know, you get your double taps off really good, sometimes uh, your triples come out really good, other times it's dot, dot, 
uh, dot. You know, so it's just life. But my times are overall pretty good. You know, thinking about this, you know, there's uh, three different targets, three shots, uh, 1.76. I'm happy with that. You know, I mean, could go a little faster possibly, but that's good. I've engaged three separate targets with three shots in under two seconds. Uh, here, I've got six shots. Look at that. You know, that's actually pretty exciting. You know, when you think about six shots uh, uh, at three different targets in under uh, two and a half seconds. So 2.36 is a good time there. Uh, on the uh, the three shots, you know, look, I'm, I'm shooting nine shots on three different targets at 3.22. That's pretty exciting. You know, you've, you've engaged three different targets with three shots each in about three seconds. So, you know, that's the kind of speeds we're looking for. Uh, when we do all the math, we get all of our uh, times added up for the, you know, the body shots is 14.77, head shots is 17.62. And we expect to be a little slower on the head, but not that slow. I think I, you know, that's where I kind of had some brain freezes and my finger didn't quite operate like I wanted it to. But 17.62 is still decent. Uh, overall score on the body was 174. Uh, on the head is 172, I only dropped two points on the headshots. Uh, so when you divide the time into the overall score, for the uh, body shots I have 11.78, for the heads is uh, 10.10. Combine all that together, my overall score is 10.87, which is not bad. Anytime you get in the tens, that's a good score for these kind of uh, drills. So, you know, I'm happy, but, you know, should I uh, think that I could shoot better? Yes, because I know I can. I know I had a couple little problems there. Could have probably shaved uh, maybe a second or so off of that time, which would have raised my score. Bottom line, it's, uh, it's fun, it's fast, it's furious, it is a workout, and that's the idea. You get a lot of trigger time, you get some multiple shooting positions, you challenge yourself not only with speed, but with your dexterity skills and your accuracy skills, and the bottom line is, at the end of the day, uh, you're going to be a better shooter for both self-defense, competition, and just uh, general, you know, manipulation of the firearm. So this is uh, another gun fit exercise, number eight, here at the Glock Store Indoor Range, Glock Store Performance and Custom Shop in San Diego. If you want to come down and shoot with us, you know, we've got the facilities to help you go through these kind of drills. And I do invite you to come down and see if you can beat my score on exercise number eight. I'm Lenny McGill. Thanks for watching.